Unit 3 Review, Problem 2. An article published in the American Journal of Hypertension reported the results of a longitudinal study on blood pressure. Ten years ago, 51 out of 188 people evaluated were classified as having high blood pressure. This year, 63 out of 194 people evaluated were classified as having high blood pressure. Based on the results of this study, can one conclude that the proportion of people in the population with high blood pressure has increased in the last 10 years? Use alpha equals 0.05. So to answer this question statistically, since it is referring to can we conclude that it has increased, and the answer can be either yes, based on the state it has increased, or no, based on the state it has not increased, this sort of question could be answered statistically by conducting a hypothesis test procedure. Because there's an idea here, has it increased? And we're trying to use the data to reach a conclusion whether yes it has or no it hasn't. That's an HO versus H1, a hypothesis test problem. Now since this problem is comparing people from 10 years ago to people from this year, this would make it a two population problem. And what we're comparing between these two populations of people is the proportion that have high blood pressure. So we'll be conducting a hypothesis test procedure for two population proportions. So that means we can follow these steps to conduct our hypothesis test procedure. The first step in a hypothesis test procedure is to state the hypotheses symbolically. We do this by starting with H0 and H1, followed by the symbolic form of the uh, parameters, in this case proportion. We have two population proportions, so we will write the P1 first and the P2 second. Now we must determine whether this hypothesis test is an equal versus not equal problem, or a greater than or equal versus less than, or is it a less than or equal greater than hypothesis test? Here the question will help determine this. So again, we're looking at whether the people with high blood pressure has increased in the last 10 years. If you look at increase as a greater than, greater than is always placed in H1. We have to make sure we set up the first and the second populations in the right order. So again, if we're looking at increase as a P1 greater than P2, that means the first population has to be the population of people from this year. Because in order for the proportion of people with high blood pressure to have increased, that means where it was 10 years ago has increased or been is greater now. So this year, P1 has to be greater than where it was 10 years ago, P2. So our first population will be the data from this year, and we'll enter this year's data in first. And our second population will be from 10 years ago, and we'll enter the 10 year ago data second. Now, this problem can be done where you reverse these. You could make 10 years ago your first population, and this year your second population. But if that's the case, we're still answering this question as whether the proportion of people with high blood pressure had increased over those 10 years. That still means that the this year's data has to be greater than the 10 years ago. But if you put the 10 year ago data first, you'd have to set up this problem as an H1, P1 less than P2 to still show that it's increased in those last 10 years. But in this problem, we'll let the first population be this year, the second population be 10 years ago, and we'll be setting up this increase question as P1 greater than P2. Now, when you have the greater than in H1, HO, the null, always includes the equal and opposite. So in this case, HO would be the less than or equal to. Now that our first step, stating the hypotheses, are set up, we can go to the second step. It says use alpha equals 0.05 unless stated otherwise. Alphas are level of significance. 
And our customary level of significance is always at 5% or 0.05. Uh, this problem does explicitly ask us to use alpha equals 0.05, so we will use alpha equals 0.05. But if this problem didn't state to use alpha equals 0.05, we still would use alpha, a level of significance of 0.05, because that's our customary level. Now we can go to step three. This is where we turn to the calculator and to do a hypothesis test procedure for two population proportions, the command on the T83 or T84 calculator is the two prop Z test command. To get to that, you press stat, you arrow over to the test menu, and then arrow down to you find the two prop Z test command and press enter. Here on the two prop Z test command screen, you have to enter in the data values of X1 and N1. That's the data from the first population. And X2 and N2, that's the data coming from the second population. The X is the how many, what the problem's about. And this problem's about people with high blood pressure. And N is the total sample size. And the way we set up this problem as H1 being P1 greater than P2 to represent increased, our first population is this year's data. So this year, the X, how many, was 63, had high blood pressure. Out of N1, a total of 194 people this year who were sampled. The X2 and N2, our second sample, the X2, how many, from 10 years ago, was 51 had high blood pressure. Out of into a total of 188 people who were sampled 10 years ago. After we have the data entered, we then go down and we have to match up the symbol in H1 with our calculator. Uh, H1 could either be a not equal, a less than, or a greater than option. In this case, we're doing it as a greater than. So you need to arrow the cursor over so that it's blinking on the greater than. Press enter to select. So now the hypothesis that we're testing matches up with the calculator where we're trying to calculate. Now we're ready to go to the next step. Make our decision. In all hypothesis test procedures, the decision is to reject HO whenever the p-value that the calculator calculates is less than or equal to alpha, the level of significance. If it's not less than or equal to, we do not reject HO. So to calculate the p-value to reach this decision, we arrow the blinking cursor down to calculate. With it blinking on calculate, we press enter. We get lots of results displayed, but the only number we care about when we're trying to make our decision with the hypothesis test procedure is the p-value. That's the one that says the p equals. In this case, p equals 0.1267, so on. Now, p-values are probabilities. So if we're going to round this off, we need to round it off carrying three places after the decimal. So in the fourth decimal place, there's a 7, which is over 5, halfway. So the 6 rounds up to a 7. So the p-value rounds to 0.127. And since 0.127 is greater than, bigger than 0.05, the conclusion is we do not reject. So, since the p-value of 0.127 is not 0.05 or less, the decision is to not reject HO. Not rejecting HO implies that you cannot conclude H1. So the idea in H1 that P1 is greater than P2 is not supported by the data. So we cannot conclude that it is greater than or has increased. So now we're ready to answer the question. Therefore, based on the results of this study, one cannot conclude at the 0.05 level of significance that the proportion of people in the population with high blood pressure has increased in the last 10 years.